Hi, my name is Jessica Gonzalez and I'm the owner and beekeeper of Happy Organics. Today I'll be showing you how to make these rolled beeswax candles. I recently got my hands on these beautiful 100% beeswax honeycomb sheets. All you need for this type of candle is a cotton wick and your beeswax sheet. The first thing I'm gonna do is coat my wick in beeswax so it burns evenly. And I'm gonna let it sit in here for a couple of seconds. I know it's ready when it stops bubbling. That usually means it's penetrated all the way through the wick. So I let it sit here a couple of seconds, move it around and try to get all of it. Be careful not to burn yourself. And it stopped bubbling, doesn't take too long. Then I wait for it to stop dripping. Good to go. The next part of this is rolling the beeswax sheet and I'm gonna make sure this is here and I'm gonna push it into the sheet a little bit so it doesn't move but not too hard and you have to be careful when you're rolling these that it's not too cold where you are otherwise they become really br brittle and they don't bend easily. If it's super cold, they become pretty hard and they're likely to break once you start rolling it. And you'll know, you can always check the corner of, of one to see if it's able to bend easily. I'm gonna start from this end so the wick stays in the center of the candle. And I'm just gonna do this slowly so I don't mess up. And I'm trying to make it as tight as possible. You can either add the wick on the short side of the sheet or the long side of the sheet. You can even cut this sheet in half or to the size that you want them. Um, you can cut it in half this way also. but I want a sheet that's about this height. And I wanna make sure I'm rolling it about the same width on both sides so I don't get one side that's more flared than, another, than the other side. And these are super easy to do. You just wanna make sure you're not rolling one side more evenly than the other. I don't want any lint in the candle as well, so. Got a little fuzz in here. And I just want to check the progress on both sides. It should be looking something like that. Already looking really beautiful.
and this is the end result. Kind of looks like a little dynamite. And what I'm going to do is make sure the sides are sealed so I don't so it doesn't become unraveled. Taking a little fuzz off. I'm also going to cut the bottom side of the wick. And then this side I'm going to leave a little longer because I'm going to add, actually, I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to add a label to this. So I'm just going to roll it up, roll it up a little bit so it doesn't get in the way. The last part of this is sealing this edge here. And this is pretty simple to do. You just push it in to the candle so it doesn't become unrolled and the warmth of your hand will seal it as well. And there it is, a beautiful beeswax rolled candle. You can also use these beeswax sheets inside of your bee boxes. It makes it easier to get comb honey out of your frames and you use them in place of the plastic sheets inside. Um, these prefer wax. Sometimes if you use the plastic sheets, they tend to build around it um, and you get some like funky comb that's hard to get around. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about how I made this candle or if you have any questions about how I make any of my other candles. Thank you for watching.